Hello! Once again, it's Kai. As you can see, I have a new do. Well, this is um, a protective style that I've been wanting to do for a while because it's getting colder or cold now. And so I wanted to, for one, have something to warm up my face, you know, warm up my head. And two, I wanted to grow my hair out a little bit more because it, you know, it's not really as long as it used to be. And so I wanted to protect my hair, give it a break, grow it out, and, um, you know, have a cute style. It's not as similar to my natural curl pattern, but I like the look, and I'm so glad that I got it. This is Deep Wave. It's Saga hair. It's Deep Wave, 12 inches, and um, went to three girls and a needle. Three girls and a needle. Go to threegirlsandaneedle.com. And they have beautiful, wonderful hairstyles. And the thing I love about when they do a sew-in, um, they do this, everyone, they pretty much do, do everyone, like when they braid the hair down, they do it the same way. And so the technique is really good to me. When they sew the hair in, it doesn't feel heavy. It feels light, like I'm like this, it just feels like it's mine. Like it's attached to my head. And this is like, from day one, from when they first put on, does it feel heavy? The, I mean, it feels tight because they are pulling. And then when they do the enclosure, because this is a full, you know, enclosure, they do um, a full enclosure for 140, and then um, just a regular enclosure with hair out for 95 dollars, and that's it. You can't beat it. You know what I mean? There's so no guessing and like, well, how much is it? You know, what if I do this? What if I do that? Two prices. So anyway. This is the enclosure, and so, you know, you can see it pretty much, you really can't tell, and I can wear it like, you know, like this, however, you know, however I want to. I really wanted to um, show you, because it was way big um, last Thursday when I got it done, and, you know, when you sleep on it, so I sleep with a bonnet or whatever, but when you, like, have a curl style and this is the first time I've had a curl style as a sew-in so I'm really happy that it's turning out really well but I was like okay how am I going to work with the frizzies and you know because after a while you sleep on it it starts you, you know you see some of the hair starting to get frizzy and all of that stuff and I was like well what am I going to do about that because I don't want to immediately wash it or wet it you know and then you start getting tangles and all of that stuff and I just don't want to have to work with it too much which is I don't have to I really don't I wake up and fluff it and go but what I did do, um, I got my Indian hemp, right? And I was like, hmm, if I use Indian hemp, maybe I can kind of tame some of the curls. So I don't have anything to really tame some of the stray hairs or whatever. So I took a little bit of Indian hemp, right? A little bit, okay? And let's say this little curl right here. I just you know, took a little bit of it, wrapped my finger around it a little bit, and voila, the curl is, it's still there. Uh oh, let me do that like that. Yeah, there we go. It's still there, but it's more defined. And the, it's not frizzy. Not frizzy. See? So I've just been doing that, and I'm really happy that I have, because, you know, now, like, I can just do that, put some of it on there, and it's, Indian hemp so it's not like it's something that's not good for it or safe or whatever and I'm really doing this just to like maintain the curl and keep it shiny or whatever because see how frizzy that was before and even just doing that it keeps the curl so I just want to come and kind of show you how show you my new style and how I've been maintaining it and um I mean I'm playing around with it for right now because like I said I mean it's a protective style, so it's something that I want to keep for a few months to see how, how long I can keep it. And, um, yeah, that's about it. I mean, I like the versatility uh, of it, like, as far as, I mean, I can wear it really big if I want to. Now, I don't know about straightening it because I know, you know, it's human hair, regular, you know, so in here, so I can straighten it if I want to. I probably won't do that because... I'm low maintenance and this is a style that I got for a reason like I've been researching this style for the last couple of months and I've seen a few people like African export who have a, had a crochet style and um, I think of some other people um, who had a protective style 
where they had like a sewing or something like that um or here at it and so i mean i pretty much wanted to have something that i could have similar to my new headshot see look at that i just am putting it on and it's just shining you can't like see too much of it. i'm trying to be in the light where you can see it but it's so nice and people have been loving this hair style on me i mean hold on i'm trying to get a there you go you can see it now and i can just take yeah and it's not frizzy it's not frizzy a nice curl and it looks like mine so anyway that's me that's my new style and this is my new style and this is what i'm doing to it to you know maintain it and if there's hair that is too too frizzy and i feel like i need to do something to it then i just cut it off i mean you know but I'm working with it. And I'm the type of person, you know, especially with the sewing, I'm going to work with that bad boy. I'm going to get my money's worth, okay? Definitely going to get my money's worth with the sewing. <laughs> you know, some people wear sewing for like two, three weeks. I'm like, really? Are you kidding me? <laughs> you kidding me? Two, three weeks? A month? Nah. Nah. You know, it's expensive to get it done. It's expensive to get the hair you know, unless you plan on using the same hair and another style later on or the same style later on, then yeah, maybe. But, or, you know, unless you do it yourself, then hey, more power to you. But I won't be. See, I can't keep my hands out of it. Ooh. Ooh. So, that's that. That's that. So, any comments? questions or anything like that let me know um yeah i don't really have anything to say to say too much i probably won't be doing like hair videos of course i have some hair videos and i just uploaded one a little bit before i think it was my flat twist out but um so i'll just be talking about other things because i have other things going on and other important things i want to talk about i don't know like thank you everybody and I'm trying to do a six pack challenge and the six pack challenge will be till December 31st. Um, and <laughs> I used to have a six pack in college when I was cheering. So now, you know, my goal is to get a six pack, but you know, to really get healthier and work out more and all of that good stuff. Cause you know, I'm small, I'm tiny, not tiny, but like I'm, you know, I have curves in the right places and I'm skinny and my friend in well, when I was in college and we both were working together, a girl that I work with, she used to, we used to call each other thick for a skinny girl. And I even made a t-shirt um, <laughs> a few years ago that, that said thick for a skinny girl. And I, I think that's, that's, that pretty much describes my, my body. You know, I'm thick for a skinny girl, but you know, I think like being a skinny girl, sometimes if you have a pudge, it's like, really? You have a pudge? Why? Work on that. You know what I mean? Like, why are you skinny with a stomach, a belly. So I'm not saying that, you know, there's anything wrong. You, you have to be super skinny and super, your stomach has to be super flat or anything like that. But I just know because I have had a flat stomach or whatever that I need to get back on it because I have a slight bread box. <laughs> but anyway, you know, everyone could definitely work on being their best in all areas. So I'm not perfect. And I'm not saying, you know, get skinny and have a flat stomach because that's the only way to look because please. You know, it's, I was not thick for a long time and I was a really skinny girl. And it was like, I want some of that too. I want a big button smile, you know, or, you know, whatever. So, you know, you grow into all of that anyway as you get older. So all I'm saying is that I want to be a lot healthier. I want to work out more and feel better about myself overall. So I hope you guys are having a great start of fall because it's starting to feel more like fall now. And I'm kind of happy about that, but you know, I do miss summer because summer is my time and summer is the time of my skin because in the winter and fall, I feel like a big cornflake because my skin is like flaky and dry and I end up, I use a, a lot of body butter. Body Shop has great body butters. So I have to get on that. I, it's like I have to because my skin, no matter what, will just be like, I have to shrivel up and dry up now because it's cold. And so I end up having to do that. But anyway, hope you ha guys have a great 
start of your fall 